Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're diving deep into a topic that could be the single most important barrier between you and the financial success you deserve. Limiting beliefs about money. These are the thoughts that are lodged in your subconscious mind, quietly sabotaging your progress and preventing you from achieving the abundance you're capable of. They don't announce themselves loudly, but their impact is huge. If you've ever caught yourself thinking something like, I don't deserve to be rich, I'm not good enough to be wealthy, or I've missed my chance, I'm too old for that, then stick around, because this video is for you. We're going to identify the five most common limiting beliefs about money, show you how to overcome them, and then dive into actionable steps you can take to rewire your thinking and start attracting the financial success you've always wanted. But first, let me ask you something. Have you ever stopped to think about why you believe these things in the first place? Our beliefs, especially around money, are often shaped by external influences, like our family, society, or past experiences. The good news is, those beliefs aren't permanent, and today we're going to start breaking them down. Let's get into it. 5 Limiting Beliefs About Money Alright, first things first. Let's identify the most common limiting beliefs about money that keep people stuck. These are thoughts that are likely running in the background of your mind, without you even realizing it. 1. I don't deserve to be rich. This is one of the most damaging beliefs out there. Somewhere along the way, many of us have internalized the idea that we don't deserve financial success. Maybe it's because of your upbringing, maybe it's guilt, or maybe it's just a lack of self-worth. But let me tell you this. Wealth isn't about who deserves it. There are no gatekeepers saying, this person is worthy, and this person isn't. It's not about deserving. It's about knowing your value, understanding money, and making intentional moves to build wealth. If you've ever felt like you don't deserve to be wealthy, I want you to ask yourself, where did this belief come from? Is it something you truly believe? Or is it something you picked up from someone else's experience? Recognizing that it's not really your belief can be the first step toward letting it go. 2. I'm not good enough. This belief can show up in different forms. You might think you're not smart enough, not experienced enough, not talented enough, or not something enough to make the kind of money you want. Maybe you've been comparing yourself to others, seeing people who seem more successful, more educated, or more connected, and you've convinced yourself that you can't measure up. But here's the thing. Nobody starts out feeling like they're good enough. Every successful person you see today started with doubts, with gaps in their knowledge, and with insecurities. The difference is, they push through those doubts. Being good enough is not a requirement for success. Learning, growing, and adapting is. You don't need to be perfect, you just need to be persistent. 3. It's not possible for me. This is the belief that sneaks in when you look at other people's success and think, that's great for them, but it's not possible for me. Maybe you think your background, education, or circumstances are holding you back. You think other people have some special advantage or are just luckier than you. But let me tell you, financial success is possible for anyone, and I mean anyone, who's willing to learn, take risks, and commit to the journey. Don't make the mistake of assuming that the wealthy are fundamentally different from you. They're not. They've just broken through their own limiting beliefs and taken action toward their goals. If they can do it, so can you. 4. I'm too old now. This one gets to a lot of people, especially those in their 30s, 40s, and beyond. You might think, well, it's too late for me to start over. Or, I've missed my chance to build real wealth. Let me stop you right there. It is never too late to change your financial situation. You've probably heard stories about people who became millionaires later in life. People like Colonel Sanders, who founded KFC at 62, or Ray Kroc, who took McDonald's Global at 52. The point is, your age is not a limitation, it's just a number. What matters is what you do now. 5. It's not worth the effort. This belief usually creeps in when you're feeling tired, frustrated, or stuck in a rut. Maybe you've been working hard but haven't seen the results you want, and you start thinking, why bother? It's too much effort for too little payoff. But here's the truth. Anything worthwhile takes effort. Building wealth is no different. The question isn't whether it's worth the effort. The question is, how much do you want it? The freedom that comes with financial success, the ability to live life on your own terms, and the security that comes with wealth, 
those things are absolutely worth the effort. And once you start seeing progress, you'll realize that the effort you're putting in is paying off in ways you never expected. How to Overcome Limiting Beliefs Now that we've identified the most common limiting beliefs about money, let's talk about how to overcome them. Here are four steps to take control of your mindset and start creating the financial success you want. 1. Understand what limiting beliefs are. The first step is understanding that limiting beliefs aren't facts. They're just thoughts that you've picked up over time, often from other people or negative experiences. And just because you've believed them for a long time doesn't make them true. They're like mental barriers, and the good news is, you can break through them. Take a moment to think about where these beliefs might have come from. Was it something your parents said when you were young? Was it a bad experience you had with money that left a mark? Once you recognize that these beliefs were learned, you can start to unlearn them. 2. Challenge your beliefs. Next, you need to challenge these beliefs. Ask yourself, is this really true? For example, if you believe, I don't deserve to be rich, ask yourself why. What evidence do you have that this is true? You'll probably find that there's no real basis for this belief, and that it's more about how you feel than anything grounded in reality. Then, challenge it even further. What if the opposite were true? What if you do deserve to be wealthy? What would that look like for you? This kind of questioning starts to break down the mental walls and opens you up to new possibilities. 3. Replace your beliefs with new ones. Now it's time to flip the script. Take those old, limiting beliefs and replace them with new, empowering ones. For example, instead of saying, it's not possible for me, start saying, wealth is possible for me, and I'm taking steps toward it every day. It might feel a little awkward or even fake at first, but trust me, the more you repeat these new beliefs, the more your brain starts to accept them as truth. It's like training a muscle. You have to exercise it regularly for it to grow stronger. 4. Take action to confirm your new beliefs. Here's where the rubber meets the road. Take action. Your new beliefs will only stick if you back them up with real-world action. Start making moves toward your financial goals, whether that's investing, starting a side business, or even just educating yourself on personal finance. The more action you take, the more you'll start to see evidence that your new beliefs are true. And once you start seeing results, it becomes a self-reinforcing cycle. Your belief grows stronger, you take more action, and the results keep coming. Benefits of Overcoming Limiting Beliefs So what happens when you remove these limiting beliefs from your life? The benefits go far beyond your bank account. You'll be more successful. Once your mind is no longer holding you back, you'll start to see new opportunities that you didn't even notice before. You'll be happier. With limiting beliefs out of the way, you'll feel more confident, more empowered, and more in control of your financial future. You'll be more fulfilled. When you break through mental barriers, you start to realize your full potential. You're no longer living with the weight of doubt and insecurity. You'll have more fun in life. Let's face it. When you have the financial freedom to do what you want, life gets a whole lot more enjoyable. How to get started. All right. So how do you get started on this journey to break your limiting beliefs and achieve financial success? Watch this video again if you need to and take notes on the steps I've laid out. Read the book The Secret if you want to dive deeper into how your mindset shapes your reality. Join a mastermind group of like-minded people who are also working on improving their financial lives. Work with a coach or therapist to help you identify and overcome your limiting beliefs even faster. That's it for today, guys. Remember, the only thing standing between you and the financial success you want is your own mindset. Break through those limiting beliefs, take action, and watch your life transform. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone who needs to hear this message.